Don't take offense. Offense is something that is to be taken. Any one of us who took offense have a very hard time to release it. Offense appeals to our sense of self which demands justice in order to please it, this justice for a wrong it belief was done. Once taken, offense indulges the flesh by telling it that it has the right to feel how it feels. It is a very strong defense that is levied at the offender whether innocent or guilty. One example of the first offended person takes us back to the first book of the Bible and Genesis. When Cain was offended because he did not do well with the offering that he offered to God. Instead of taking God's correction, Cain paid no attention to God's warning and avenged his own brother whom he believed was the hindrance in his way. How many of us knows that we have not done well yet we want the same recognition that others get? Like Cain, many people believe that they have the right to how they are feeling and so they project all their anger at whomever they think is in the way of what they believe should be theirs. Thus, those who are offended rarely listen to reasons, they are irrational because they are driven by their feelings. However, followers of Jesus are cautioned and warned by Jesus not to take offense. People also get offended when, they are corrected. They are not recognized. They have been disappointed. They believe that they were overlooked. They feel that they have been unjustly treated. Their expectations were not met. They think they know better. They think they are right. Only the Lord knows how many believers are locked into ineffectiveness and robbed of the joy of the Lord due to offense. Many relationships that were once close and cherished have been devastated and others are marred by underlying offense. However, we should not be surprised that we live in and at a time when we become easily offended. Being offended is the very opposite of forgiveness. Forgiveness means that you pardon another whose offenses towards you, whereas being offended means you hold on to a grudge as Cain did with Abel, even where there is no offense. Therefore, let us grasp the fact that when we are in a state of offense, the primary value lies not in what is wrong with the other person or what they should do or change. It lies in what we will allow the Lord to do in our hearts. What can I learn about the Lord and about myself in this experience? When I allow the Holy Spirit to reveal my condition and the need in my life, He can show me how far I am from His unconditional love and forgiveness. When I ask and receive His all-sufficient grace, I gain the divine enablement of the Spirit's power that help help me not to take offense. Assuming we were actually done wrong and the other party is at fault, what shall we do? We have a choice, hold them to account, or forgive. But we need to realize that when we do not forgive, we place ourselves in a state of unforgiveness. This can become very serious. We must be aware that in a state of unforgiveness we shut ourselves off from God's forgiveness. When we are unforgiving we become unforgiven, and when we are unforgiven we cannot find the grace to forgive. When we are offended with someone, our eyes no longer see their positive qualities and our hearing becomes filtered with our offended thoughts. This is why a person who once spoke and thought highly of each other can now only judge and criticize each other. When we are offensed, it will yield a harvest of frustration, anger, suspicion, ineffectiveness and falling away Margu 13 verse 21. This is why many who have been useful and effective are no longer productive. Why? Because they have been taken over by offense. Let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus, we give you every offense and thank you that you are working things out for our good. Help us Father to forgive whoever offend us, so that we can receive your forgiveness. Father in the mighty name of Jesus, help us Lord, never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Father help us never take our own revenge, because your word said, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Father we see that really forgiving so we too can be forgiven, is the way you desire us to be. Remind us that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. Thank you Father, for opening our eyes to offense, so we see it before it slips in or it is taken by us. Thank you for granting us the grace to refuse offense in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. See you soon at the movie, Don't Take Offense. In the meantime, have a wonderful day.